We play and call it work. Hey folks, Janine from Mini Wargaming here with another how-to video for you. In this video, I'm going to continue painting the Slaughter Priest, and we are going to paint the gray cloth that's on the front and the back of the model. As always, if you have suggestions for something you'd like to see in a future how-to video, please leave them down below in the comments. For our dark gray cloth, we want to start with the color Skaven Blight Dinge. We're mixing it with Lamian Medium, and we want to apply this all over the tattered cloth on both the front and the back. It's going to take us a few layers to build up the color and that's totally fine. I just want to paint with a nice thin paint that doesn't run anywhere. It's got a good consistency so that it sticks to the model, but I can build it up slowly without losing any details. This model is sculpted to have a lot of tatters in the cloth, which makes it look really interesting and they're going to be fun to highlight later. However, when you water down your paint and you thin it down a little bit, I find that the consistency gets stuck in these little bubbles right over the holes that are sculpted on the cloth. So one thing that you can do to keep a paint from drying in that area is you can just give it a quick puff of air after you paint it to make sure that you free up that space and you don't get paint drying there in a bubble in a way that you don't want. It took me about three layers to get the color I wanted on both of these cloth areas, and that's totally fine. The important thing is to just make sure that I don't paint while the paint is still drying on any particular area, because that way I'm layering the paint instead of accidentally stripping the paint off by applying more on top of it before it's completely dry. Next, I'm going to take the color Dawnstone. I'm going to mix it into my Skaven Blight Dinge about 50-50. I'm also using Lamian Medium in this mixture and I'm gonna do that with all of my colors except if I use a shade later. And I'm using this to start to shape the folds on this cloth and really exaggerate the high areas while leaving my darker color in the low areas. I really wanna make sure that all of these swirls and curves are really accentuated. I also want to accentuate all of the edges around the bottom edge and up towards the sides. And I want to highlight the area around all of the sculpted tatters on the cloth as well. Next, we're going to take pure Dawn Stone. And I'm using this color to highlight the same areas. However, again, I'm painting less of the model this time, continuing to build up the highlight really towards the very edge of the cloth and the very top of each of these swirls really picking out the very small outline of all of the tatters and areas like that. Now we've got our base cloth mostly painted. We're going to add some low lights using the color Nuln Oil. I want to add just a really light line of this to the very bottom of each of these swirls of cloth, really making that area have a little bit more shadow, a little bit more depth but I want to make sure that I apply this very thinly so that it doesn't go on too thick and I'm not creating just one dark line there. I want it to be more of a blend. I want it to be more smooth. So that just means a really thin layer in the darkest recess. I can also use this Nuln Oil to darken any of the holes sculpted in the cloth. If they've been lightened by my highlighting, I can add a little bit of this Nuln Oil inside them to get them dark once again. All right, and for my last step, I'm going to take some Ulthuan Gray. I'm going to mix it into my Dawnstone. Once again, I'm mixing it 50-50, and this is going to be my brightest highlight. I'm going to pick the area at the very top of each of these folds of cloth, and I'm going to apply this almost like a thin line, but I'm not going to paint it as one straight line. I'm going to paint it as a series of broken up dots and I'm going to have those dots get a little bit thicker and a little bit more condensed towards the bottom of the cloth and kind of taper off towards the top. I'm doing this because I want it to look like it's got a little bit more texture than just a straight line would allow. I can also paint this as horizontal stripes to kind of give it more of a cloth weave texture. And I'm going to use this as a broken up line highlight on the very outer edge of all the cloth. I'm doing this just to accentuate the tattered nature of the cloth. 
I want to add a little bit more brightness, bring a little bit more attention to the outer edges, but I don't want to brighten the color too much. I don't want to make it too light. All right, and with that last highlight, the gray cloth on this Slaughter Priest is complete. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more how-to videos, I have another one where I'm going to paint the brown leather boots on this Slaughter Priest in the mini Wargaming Vault in the link down below in the description. If you don't already have a vault membership, you can go ahead and click the link, sign up for a seven day free trial, and get access to my video as well as hundreds of other videos in the mini Wargaming Vault. So go ahead, click the link, start your free trial, and happy Wargaming.